Hey fam, it is your girl, the one and the only Spicy, and I'm here today with another amazing pick a card reading. The question that I'm going to be asking today is, why are they underestimating you? So definitely make sure you stay tuned for this amazing reading because it's just going to be amazing. Okay, today is nice. It's a, I'm feeling blessed. It's, it's a sunny day and I'm ready to read. So with that being said, y'all, this is how this reading is going to work. You can pause the video right here and you can choose the pile that you feel um, the most attracted to, whether it be by the deck artwork or even by the crystal itself. We have three decks out here in front of us. We have deck number one, which is the Muse Tarot deck with the clear crystal quartz geode. Deck number two, which is the Mystic Mondays tarot deck with the amethyst crystal. And then deck number three, which is the Modern Witch tarot deck with the pyrite crystal. So you can pause right here, look in the timestamps in the description box and click the pile that you feel like resonates with you the most or that you are attracted to the most and i will see you at your reading so yeah y'all prepare for another amazing reading and i will see you there at your pile all right fam my pile one people if you chose the muse tarot deck with the clear crystal quartz geode we gonna get started with your reading i hope everyone is well today i am up i am happy i feel blessed i'm grateful so Let's go ahead and read. We're asking, why are they underestimating you? Like, why are they underestimating you? So we'll go from here. Um, definitely make sure you check out all of the information in the description box. There I have links for if you would like to get a private or personal reading from me. Um, so these are general readings. So some of it is going to resonate. Maybe all of it resonates. It is what it is when you get a personal reading it's a little more specific to your individual situation um we also have links in the description box for um if you would like to donate any monetary contributions oracle decks or tarot decks um also any candles because i just love having a good candle on my desk um and then also if you would like to check out my new line of 3d and hand painted gel press on nails you have the option to do that as well the link is in the description box but let's go ahead and get started why are they underestimating you i have some oracle decks over here um i have the tea leaves that i'm bringing back out i have the um moonology cards for any guidance or advice i have the what deck is this this is the well, I have the energy oracle cards for present energy and then also the sacred destiny oracle cards as well that I'm going to be pulling from. But let's just go ahead and go stream of consciousness. Let's let's understand why these people are underestimating you um, or even if you have a, a particular person on your mind that you know has been underestimating you, playing you for a fool or even um, someone who um someone who's undermining you um we're gonna go ahead and see why are they doing that and i mean off the rip you had the lovers the six of the six the materials is pentacles the six of pentacles here and you also have the emperor i feel like whoever is undermining you or underestimating you this could have been someone that you were in a love relationship with um this could also be someone that you may um, work with or may be in your field or even someone who is uh, who has a close, intimate type of relationship with you. I feel like this isn't really a stranger. I feel like this is someone that's very close to you that could potentially be underestimating you, someone you've had a close relationship with. Um, but yeah, I feel like this person is underestimating you because you, in a sense, have... You've you've created some type of authority when it comes to you so you could be like a mentor you could be a leader within your field especially with this emperor card um you could even be a parent if if you are um a man a male watching this video then this could stand for just you and your dominance and your authority um but you know of course women can stand in this divine masculine energy as well um so regardless of who you are i just feel like you're someone who understands both sides of the coin and especially both sides of you know energy like 
you possess that yin feminine energy and you also possess yang masculine energy so you could just be a very balanced type of person um but yeah i feel like you are a giving person i feel like you're someone who um doesn't mind you know coming together with another person and um not even just compromising but like working together with other people so you might work together very well with other people i feel like this person what came up in my mind was this person might kind of take you as a sucker because you're always so giving and you have um a lot within abundance so i just feel like it's not even more so like what you possess but it's probably your personality and how you possess the things that you have in your life I feel like this person sees that because you're not a selfish individual, that that means that you're a sucker. That's kind of what I got is like this person trying to take you for a sucker. But I'm going to get some more um, cards to clarify this. I just feel like you're someone that's in abundance and it's not just money. It's not just money. It's not just the type of dominance or how you assert yourself within your life or even within your field. But I also um, in... I don't even know where I was going with that, but it's also like, it's, it's just how you relate to other people. You, you could be a very kind person and this person thinks that kind people are suckers or kind people get taken advantage of, um, and whatnot. So I'm gonna get some more clarification and see, see like how, I think this person is underestimating you because they see you as being very inexperienced to whatever it is that you are doing or accomplishing. Like if this has to do with love, you could potentially have like, this could potentially be like, that could have been your first major relationship that you've had with someone, this person. So you was probably a little inexperienced when it's come to love, but just because you haven't been in a lot of relationships or you don't spread yourself thin with people, that doesn't mean that you know, you're not a good person or you could not have a successful relationship. So I just feel like whoever it is that's underestimating you, they just see you as being inexperienced or they see you as being naive. Um, if this has to do with your work, I feel like this person, they, um, they just feel like you are uh, being a little naive when it comes to things. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like someone who has finally stepped out into the field like you could have been you know going to school for years and then you finally step out into the field and you have actual you know you're developing that practical um knowledge you know experiential knowledge so this person might feel like oh you know they just operating with rose colored glasses on and this girl is actually wearing glasses so it's like they might think that you have rose colored glasses on and you're just inexperienced and you don't really know what you're doing or what you're talking about you you don't really know so this person is kind of hating on the passion that you have towards this thing or towards something that you're doing they feel like but they feel like it's aimless like you're naive and you're you don't really know what it's really about you know what i'm trying to say so the energy that you have is you know what i'm trying to say they think that the energy that you have is aimless now i see the chariot card on the bottom i just feel like you're like when whatever it is that you're accomplishing or whatever it is that you're doing is like you're going you're moving forward because the chariot card is all about forward moving action and it didn't come out in the reverse so it's not like you're going in separate directions or you don't really know what to do i feel like a lot of what drives you is by being able to be in a position to help other people or being able to be in a position to you know lend to other people to give to other people it's like that's where you prefer to be and I feel like this person might be hating more so on the fact that you have the ability to do that to other people regardless of how inexperienced you may be it's like you would rather be in a position of having more so that you can help people as opposed to having less and I just feel like you're going all gas no brakes if this has to do with your job, it's like regardless of how inexperienced you are, you have a fervor. Like there's something within you that's just like, no, I want to learn. I want to do, you know, I want to practice. I want to, you know, be out there. I want to master this skill. And it could be that this person just sees you as being aimless. You know what I'm saying? So you could take any one of those situations, how it goes or however it is that you're thinking about, you know, the person on your mind and just understanding that this person just hating because you have a lot of potential that's within you, regardless of you being particularly, you know, inexperienced as something. There's a lot of potential within you 
you have the ability to be a leader within your field um and you have a the ability to really like i said go all gas no brakes you know what i'm saying and i think this person might be washed up and tired <laughs> who knows who knows they might be a little washed up and tired and they're a little they're a little upset like that you regardless of life or being an experience you still want to go towards your own happiness so that's probably why they trying to underestimate you is because you have so much goodness that's there and this person might just have been living a hard life like <laughs> they live it like i literally said living a hard life and here we have it's like y'all have the ten of cups that came up and y'all have the force the four swords that came up as well so it's like this person is underestimating you definitely because you you're it's like if they live a struggle life like that's really on them at a certain point in time you have to make the decision that this is something that you're not wanting to do but with you it's like you are so like i don't know you're just so good like it's just goodness that's within you it's wholeness wholeness that is within you like you are really your own person and you find you find great emotional satisfaction in just being you and it's not to say that you're dominating over other people but you are an authority like you really are your voice matters and that's something i want to tell you is like your voice really does actually matter um there's a reason why your voice matters there's a reason why and that's because you are determined that's because you are focused that's because regardless of what you're new at you're going to master that skill you know what i'm trying to say you're gonna take it as far as you want to take it because you understand what your potential is and i feel like this person might just be 100 percent washed up because i don't understand how you can hate on somebody that has the type of energy that you are that you have i don't under i don't understand why they would want to undermine that you know but i'm gonna get some more cards to see how they really feeling about you like that's leading to this with the uh energy oracle cards i'm gonna see because it's just like i don't understand how you would hate on somebody like this and when i said that they had a struggle life it's like not to say that you didn't have a struggle life because in order to become the emperor you had to learn some lessons in order to tap into this lover's energy i don't just see it as a relationship with someone else but i see it as coming to balance within yourself embodying both sides of the masculine and the defi divine uh, the divine feminine energy i see that so it's just like regardless of what you've been through i can definitely say that um you do have the ability to rest. I feel like you have the luxury of rest. You have the luxury to pull back and take a step back if you need to. And with the four swords, it's like this is an energy that you had to put yourself in. So it's not to say that you haven't been through any trauma, strife. You know, it's not to say that. But I feel like with this dominant energy that you have, you know that there's always going to be something to accomplish. There's always going to be something that you're going to have to uh, put yourself out there for that you're going to have to compete in you understand that so especially with the six of materials it's showing that you 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 are abundant to be in a position to where you can lend to other people is like so whether that be money whether that be energy you know what i'm saying like actual concrete substantial things like you have the ability to give people those things like you're someone who would give somebody what they need and not just what they want you know what i'm saying and still be having enough for yourself and that's probably why they mad for real that's probably why they underestimating you because they think that you inexperienced or they feel like you are you know what i'm trying to say that you you haven't seen enough of the real world but i definitely think you have enough to be able to put yourself in a state of rest a meditation you know being able to sit back and when i look at this four of swords and i see these rose petals it's kind of giving me that like you could live a soft life but you still your eyes are still open you still know what needs to be accomplished but you could take a second to rest and it could just be that this person does not understand how you do what you do so they rather just take a oppositional position and hate on you as opposed to you know i don't know supporting <laughs> what's the opposite of that you know so we're gonna take some of these energy oracle cards and we are gonna see what comes out we want to see what comes out why are they underestimate you um we have woman holding a coin um so this just really backs up my messages of course of y'all 
being abundant um you could also be because i was like mm, it's giving masculine energy but you know <laughs> feminine energy as well because there's a balance of both so woman holding a coin this is definitely giving me queen of pentacles energy but looking at that cat is also giving me the queen of wands energy as well so you could just be someone that's mysterious and people don't really know what your moves are they don't really know what you're up to um but you always come out abundant at the end of the day so it could just be that um that they don't really know what your moves are um so they probably just underestimating you and they may not see you as the queen of um of pentacles they may not see you as someone who is abundant but you know what it is we also have the door to romance um and whatnot i want to get another clarifying card and whatnot but if this is someone that you um were in a relationship with in the past um it could just be that they don't they may not think that you have the ability to move on from them um they may not think that you have the ability to you know release yourself from them especially with this caged heart um and whatnot so they may just feel as though like you're not going you're inexperienced you don't know nothing about the world you know what i'm saying you don't know nothing about people you're not going to be able to move on you're not going to be able you know so they might just be trying to keep you in the same place but this spread of cards is like it's a amazing it's amazing energy that i'm getting from you so it's just like for this person to be doing all that they must be hating for real for real and then we also have door to value and <laughs> i don't i don't know what else to tell y'all like because you gotta you got this person might really underestimate your ability to continue to keep creating wealth and abundance for yourself but this is available to you like you have door to value door to romance and woman holding a coin like what else do people what else will really satisfy somebody in this world like when it comes to having love in your life the ability to love someone else and then also having the ability to have uh, to create abundance and wealth in your life and then actually having that abundance and wealth it's just I don't know whoever this person is they really got to be your number one hater because you have so much potential and that's something that came up here as well as you have so much potential and that's what you're really tapping into but they underestimated you probably just looking at who you are today and thinking that's all you'll ever be but they know what's up they know that you actually really do have the potential to create the life that you want to live and all of that is up to us we have the ability to you know identify what a good life looks like to us and it's up to you to go after those things if that's what you want but a good life is gonna look different to different people but yeah this person it just they a hater like they're a hater for real because you have too much potential and you do too many you do too much for for other people and for yourself and to still remain in a you know what i'm trying to say to still remain in this position like and to still be able to take a rest out for yourself like you do too much so this person is definitely <laughs> i'm gonna say it again they're trying to undermine you because they hating on you they hating on your qualities and what what you what you do like and how you are how you show up so let's get um i for some reason when i picked up this deck i just thought about superpower like, what is that power that is within you that is, you know, that is really going to help you to ascend and transcend above above um, this, you know, undermining or above this person or these people underestimating you? Like, what is your superpower? What helps you to ascend above this madness? This one wanted to flip over. And we have security we have security and I really feel like it's more so security within you knowing what your potential is, knowing what your skills are within you knowing yourself, regardless of how inexperienced you may be at something. It's like, you don't care. You're going to go, you're going to practice. You're going to develop the skills that you need. You're going to, you know, work on it. And in order to come to a certain level of emotional satisfaction with whatever it is that you're doing in order to become a leader, in order to reach back and to help other people in order to, you know, for some reason i had um to get your divine counterpart so some of y'all actually could be you know single people but as you continue to work and become secure within yourself you will be able to find that person that you know is going to meet you where you are but it's just like y'all 
<laughs> it's literally like y'all do what y'all want, but it's not leading you to a bad, bad place. It's leading you to your ultimate potential. And you have this security that is within you and the security of knowing who you are, knowing what your skills and abilities are. Like when these people want to hate on you for whatever reason, you can just bring it back and be secure within yourself, be grounded within knowing who you are. And then we also have embracing we also have embracing and I feel like your superpower comes from embracing both sides of the coin. You know what I'm saying? You're embracing that divine femininity within you, the receptivity, the introspection, the the intu the intuition, like, you know, the submissive quality about you, but at the same time you embrace that masculine energy about you. That that's the go-getter you know, spirit. That's the solution based spirit. That's you know, that's the assertive you know spirit putting yourself out there type of spirit so it's like i feel like you embrace both sides of the coin and you do it so beautifully and that's why i feel like you getting blessed with all of these you know what i'm trying to say you you're just blessed with like who you are is a blessing to other people you know what i'm saying but i feel like you know that who you are is a blessing to yourself and to changing your life creating the life that you want for yourself i just feel like that's why this person is underestimating you maybe they don't have a good enough picture of who you are to be thinking this way or to want to undermine you or you know what i'm saying so let's get some tea leaves to see how they feel <laughs> see how they really feel about you um and whatnot <laughs> to see how they really feel so um dog protection from a powerful friend so they may feel like you're very protected um we have nest an emotionally secure loving family is important to you so you may have a lot of support that is around you and i think this could potentially come from how you just you know help and support other people um we have handshake a meeting with a stranger could be important um we have shield you need to defend yourself so it could be that um <laughs> <laughs> this could be something that this person is telling you or even their higher self is telling you like you know um but then also i feel like they're because they think that you could be a little naive or inexperienced they may feel like you don't really know the world and stuff like that so they may feel like oh you need to be in a defense position but it seems like you're always playing offense like you're always kind of going after what it is that you want so why should you have to defend yourself against anybody if you're literally doing what it is that you want so you know this person may just feel like oh you don't know enough about the world like you should be on the defense um handshake a meeting with a stranger could be important i'm gonna get some clarification on that and then we also have um pig beware of greed so this person may feel like with your abundance that you're being greedy um that you're being greedy um but forces working against you yeah i do think that whoever it is that is undermining you is really trying to work against you um i'm not saying that you should just up and deem them as an enemy but you can definitely see that this person is not on your side um handshake i want to get some more clarification for handshake so i'm just like what does that mean what does that mean oh money path money path a path with money is waiting for you to find it so it could be that um maybe there's an opportunity um and they know and this is probably why this person feels some type of way because i feel like you always making moves in silence and mysterious mysteriously you know what i'm trying to say you always come into abundance or you're always successful maybe they don't understand that but yeah money path door to value these cards both kind of confirm each other i feel like they're the same thing so i do feel like you know there's just a lot of potential that is within you and maybe this person knows that you know your next move um to abundance is really going to come through you know a stranger is going to come through because that's how opportunities come to us it's like we either create them or they come from other people so it could just be that there's abundant opportunities that's awaiting for you um and it's just really up to you to confirm and to agree to those things so uh, this person they just a hater i feel like they understand the potential that is within you but i feel like they try to dumb you down by saying that you um by saying that you you know what i'm trying to say are an experience that you know what i'm trying to say you don't know enough about the life the real world 
But it's like, you don't have to live a struggle life. You don't. If you decide, I don't want to live a struggle life, then you don't have to. Um, then we also have misunderstanding. Um, yeah, it's really, that's why I'm just like, I don't understand how this person could do that. And it's really all just a misunderstanding. So there really could be some type of wall that's up. Um, I'm not saying that you put this wall up, but it could be something, a boundary. It's something that this person put up and um, maybe they're too afraid to actually get to know the person that you are. Um, but yeah, you know how it be. It's like your haters are your biggest fans. It's like they don't understand what you're doing, but they want to be a part of what it is that you're doing. But it could be that this is self-imposed. It's something that they've built um, so they can't even really get to know who you are um, and whatnot. So y'all sorry i have to make sure i was still recording um so y'all here's some advice and guidance because i know when people underestimate you um and undermine you it's a lot it takes it, it's a lot of emotional strength that you really have to bestow upon yourself to get through it and to really you know rise above it which i feel like y'all have no problem with doing because i feel like y'all have so much potential and abundance that it would make no sense for you to stay caught up and to stay stuck in some you know what i'm trying to say in some negative feelings about what somebody else think about you um but yeah i'm still going to give y'all some advice because i'm not going to just let y'all go like that <laughs> A personal issue reaches resolution. So you won't have to be dealing with this for too long. And I feel like, like I said, this has to do with an intimate connection that you have with somebody um, and whatnot. This person could be a cancer um, or you could have, um, this person could be a maternal figure, like a parent um, and whatnot. But you definitely do have some type of intimacy with this person. And it says um, your dreams need a practical plan. Um, so... I feel like if this is someone that's watching you, that's close to you, they may even think you're a bit misguided here too. Even though I didn't get the chariot within reverse, it can meet it can mean that like going in two different directions. Um, and it could be that this person's perception of you doing things mysteriously, they never really know what you're doing. They might try to take that as you're not stable or you're not secure, but you are secure. That's a superpower that you actually have. So regardless of what they think, um, <laughs> you're gonna be good but yeah your dreams need a practical plan so maybe that is one aspect of um why they are underestimating you this is something that you could use to your advantage and understand that like mm, maybe my dream maybe i go all gas no brakes and maybe i do need to be a little more practical with that but i do see that you you all have the ability to give yourself the rest when you need it you know what i'm saying so you definitely um could benefit from that and then we also have luck is on your side, which is amazing. So I would say just keep doing what you're doing, um, but keep, I would say keep doing what you're doing, but definitely um, take time out to rest and if, if you need to. Um, but it is showing that you guys are very precise. So it's not like you're just kind of doing things just because I feel like there's a method to your madness. Um, and yeah they just it just might need a, a bit of a plan you know what i'm trying to say something a little more practical um because you're always on the go and then we also have what do you need to release and a fiery climax approaches so it's just a lot of energy that is just like forward moving energy but you know when you move forward oftentimes you do have to let something from the past go so um that's just a personal question for you to even answer for yourself I don't have the surrender cards right in front of me because that would be a good thing um, to see like what y'all can personally release um, in regards to this situation. But if you give me one second, I can get my surrender cards and then pull something. All right. And the card that I saw for y'all is surrender to your soul's path. Your life's journey has been per per perfectly designed for your soul's growth. Embrace every lesson and every moment. So even though it's not the best to feel underestimated um, or undermined by somebody, it's all about understanding that like you know where you're going and you know where you're headed and just keep going in that direction. Just keep going there because it's not going to stir you wrong. So y'all have a lot of potential and a lot much more abundance to touch. So just keep doing that and never mind how somebody else feels about you. But I'm going to end it right there. I hope y'all enjoyed this reading and I will see y'all in the next one. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. All right, fam.
my pal two people my pal two people if you chose the mystic mondays tarot deck with the amethyst crystal we're gonna go ahead and get started with your reading today i hope everyone is doing well i am excited i'm blessed i'm grateful it's a nice day outside so you know my mood is my mood is a1 okay a1 since i got up this morning i knew i was ready to read so let's get started um before i continue to shuffle definitely make sure you check out the information in the description box if you would like a more you know specialized private personal reading just for you then you can definitely hit me up look at the information in the description box the link is there to get onto my scheduler if you would like to donate any tarot decks oracle decks monetary um contributions or any candles because i love me a good desk candle while i work then definitely make sure to check out the information there as well with my p.o box address and last but not least if you would like to check out my new line of 3d and hand painted gel press on nails Definitely make sure you check out that link as well to my Etsy shop, okay? I add new designs a lot much more consistently and frequently than I did. <laughs> and I'm happy about that. So check that out, y'all. Let's get started. Why are they underestimating you? Why are they undermining you? What is it about you? And let's go. Let's go. We have the full. We have the fool. The first thing that came to my mind is I'm not new to this. I'm true to this. So I don't know what that means for y'all. Um, but the fool is a starting over type of energy. It's like you're at the beginning of your, your journey. Um, you're at the beginning of self-mastery. Okay. You're at the beginning of self-actualization. Um, you're starting over. This person might think that you might be a little foolish because I know that's what the full card really be talking about in the reverse. Like, you know, <laughs> but that's not what we're doing here. So I feel like you're at the beginning of something. You're starting something new. Um, The lover's card is coming out again. So I think that you're pursuing something that makes you happy, that brings you some type of emotional fulfillment. This could be you starting on a new relationship. This could be you starting a new passion project. This could be you starting a new job you starting entrepreneurship you starting something but it's like you're at the beginning of your self-mastery there's something that you've identified that you are drawn to so there's some type of magnetism that you are experiencing right now and i even think it, it's like if you're looking at it as far as in love and romance it could be someone new that has sparked your attention it could be the start of a new relationship that's kind of what i'm seeing here but it don't just have to be love and romance you see what I'm saying? It doesn't just have to be. Um, so a couple cards came out, but I want to keep shuffling. I want to keep shuffling just so I can get one at a time. Um, so I could do some clarification. So we have the eight of cups. Ooh, I feel like this is someone that wanted to keep you in a dead end situation and you've liberated yourself. So I feel like this person feels some type of way. We have the seven of wands. I mean, I'm sorry, the seven of cups. It seems like you have a lot of options. You have a lot of options. You have a lot of choices. Um, your imagination is abundant. And then we also have the six of cups here as well. So I don't know, this could have to do with... Um, well, the Six of Cups is nice. I like that card because it talks a lot about just like favorable memories. When I see the Six of Cups, I always think about playfulness, fun, um, and then also with the memories, nostalgia as well. So um, it could the person that is underestimating you, I feel like they're underestimating your ability to potentially be able to move on from them. If this is someone that you were in a relationship with, um, because y'all know I love reading for love that is on your mind. I feel like they're underestimating your ability to move on from them. I feel like they're un they are underestimating your ability to choose what's right for you. And I feel like um they're underestimating your ability they're underestimating you being able like yeah, like you being able to find someone 
that is that is like them or to be able to create those memories or experiences with someone else but i feel like where you are right now is like that's what you're ready for this is the whole reason that you've decided to you know start over to start a new journey because obviously there's something that you're missing so this person could just be a lot salty that you are not staying stuck in that dead end position and that you actually do have options um to go get what it is that you want I feel like if this has to do with like your creativity, I feel like your imagination is abundant. Um, if this has to do with, you know, you choosing a, a, a path in life for you or choosing something to do, because we do see self mastery here. It's like you're learning something new and you're mastering that thing. I feel like this person could um, undermine you because you have so many choices. They may think that you're always in your imagination they may think that you don't live within reality um that's probably why they're underestimating you um and whatnot they might think that you also have shiny penny syndrome that's something that came to mind shiny penny syndrome and that's essentially like someone who is infatuated with every new thing or idea or person that comes to mind is like they just think that oh you just go with the wind and you'll be infatuated with somebody else tomorrow and if you don't like that person you'll be infatuated with somebody else the next day so it just seemed like this person is trying to hate on the fact that you have options and opportunity <laughs> maybe they don't have as much options and opportunity that you have but it's kind of the energy here too where they feel like you're not going to get anything better than what you had. So if this is like a job with the boss or something, your job, they might think that like, well, this is the best that it's going to get for you. So you just kind of have to accept it. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say? If this is a relationship, that person might be feeling like, you know, you can't get better than me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like they may feel like mm, that's it for you. Like this is the end of the road for you. But I feel like you showing this person that like it's not the end of the road for you. You know what I'm saying? You showing this person that like I can go out in the world and do what I want and get what I want. Like for y'all, I feel like a song that y'all should listen to because y'all might have been oppressed wherever you were. Like someone's just trying to keep you down. You know, they're underestimating you because they want to keep you down. Um, the song that came to my mind was <laughs> by Lil Uzi, Do What I Want. Like now i do what i want now i do what i want it's like you need that type of energy of understanding that like you can do what you want in this world like the fact that the mere fact that you have options and opportunities that you can choose and your imagination is abundant you just gotta choose like am i going here or am i going there so this person might just think that you always just kind of daydreaming you know what i'm saying whatever you see that's what you infatuated with but for you, it's not that. It's like you're going to chase your passion. You're going to chase what brings you fulfillment. You know what I'm trying to say? You're going to chase, you know, you want to create good memories and you want to create loving experiences. And you're the person who's going to leave to be able to do that. And this person just undermining you because they didn't think that you would have the ability to, to do that. You know what I'm saying? They don't really know you like that. But that's kind of the general theme of this reading in general is like, they underestimating you because they don't really know you. Like, I'm going to go ahead and get one more card. And then I'm going to move on because I have mad other Oracle decks. And sometimes I get too stuck on reading the tarot. But the tarot is good because it really helps me to open up and see things. You know what I'm saying? Open up and see things. Yeah, so with the Princess of Swords, if y'all... Um, chose pile one as well it's like it's kind of giving the same thing a little but a little different energy but yeah with the princess of swords i just feel like this person also sees you as being inexperienced as well and they may see you as being you know a bit um naive not really knowing what to do with your energy you know what i'm saying potentially being a little misguided um it's like this person wouldn't want you to go off in the world and experience anything else other than them and if you were to do that, they would be upset, you know, or even if it was a job, they wouldn't want you to get out and see that there's something better for you on the other side. So it's just a lot of oppressive energy. It's like somebody trying to keep you down in a specific place um, to, to potentially benefit them. That we have the nine of pentacles is like, yeah, like <sighs> these people that's underestimating you is like, they know what your power is. Okay. They know what your power is. Um, 
And the Nine of Pentacles is a very independent, self-sufficient type of energy. So they could just be undermining you because they don't feel like you have what it takes to step into this Nine of Pentacles energy, this self-sufficiency. They might see you as always being dependent on them. And maybe at a certain point in time, you were very dependent on this person, especially if y'all was in a relationship, especially if you've known this person since y'all were kids and you were with this person when you were young. They could see that you're inexperienced. You don't really know how to step out there and be self-sufficient on your own. But, you know, you can be. You can be. You can be. Um, with, this eight of, with this eight of wands also, I just feel like you do have the ability to get out of places with the quickness. Okay? If something not serving you, you going to get out of there with the quickness. Okay? Get out of here. You have the potential to be able to do that. But I do think that this person could be sending you a lot of, you know, messages and a lot of energy um, that would try to, you know, confirm to you that maybe you're not experienced enough or you can't do this. You know what I'm saying? You can't do this. It's like they could be trying to maybe sending you a lot of energy or taking a lot of actions to show you that you are misguided that you, your imagination just kind of runs anywhere it goes. You know what I'm saying? But we also have the Justice card here as well. So I really do feel like, um, I really do feel like this situation is going to be brought into balance for you. And it could be that you did have to step outside of this person and understand that you do have options. You do have opportunities. You should be in your imagination. You really should. You should dream. You really should dream and you should go chase after what it is that is um, within your heart so that you can come into a sense of uh, satisfaction for yourself. You know what I'm saying? So I really do think that uh, this situation is going to be brought back into balance. It's going to be made fair. And I do think that within you stepping into this nine of pentacles energy, it would be showing this person that you are not a, depend a codependent or a dependent type of person. So... This actually is what you should be doing. You actually should be, you know, becoming, you know, find something that makes you feel passionate and go after that thing and pursue that thing. Um, because I really do think that it is for you, despite your lack of knowledge or experience, uh, it is for you to, you know, to grow and to evolve and to develop in a into a self-sufficient person. So this person could be undermining you maybe because you've been dependent on them at a certain point in time. They haven't really seen you step into this strong energy and to really hold your own. Um, but I do think it is going to be brought back into balance. I think it's only fair that you give yourself the chance to continue to develop and to continue to grow. Um, I, I do think that you need that. So I'm going to just put this deck down right here and we're going to start messing with these. Um, <laughs> we're going to start messing with these energy oracle cards just to see like what else, why else are they potentially undermining you? Like what else is it about you? Then we're going to get like um, some other oracle decks out here in decision. Um, so yeah, I do think that <laughs> they do see you, they can see you as an indecisive person, but I really do think that you just have a lot of options and opportunity. Um, and the indecision I feel like is also based off of their, um, perception that you have a shiny penny syndrome. Like now you're on to this thing and to the next thing and I'm going to be on to the next thing. You know what I'm trying to say? Like this person feels some type of way. Um, then we also have the seventh chakra. Give me a second, y'all. I always be having to count the chakras. But yeah, this is the crown chakra. <laughs> this is the crown chakra. So yeah, they could definitely be underestimating you, but not really understanding that you are getting some type of divine guidance or intervention from spirit, from the higher power. Um, so it's not even just high priestess vibes where it's like you kind of following your intuition but it's like you're always constantly getting some type of spiritual downloads so i really do feel like um this person could acknowledge that you are a spiritual person but i do think that they would see you as someone who doesn't really know what to do with that power um so it really is on you to um take the steps to develop yourself to continue to grow and evolve so that you can truly step into this power but it's one of those things where it's like this person can realize your power before you do um but you're like the last person to know you know so you kind of have to play catch up and whatnot um and let me get one more card from here and then we can move on
we also have door to romance again um so this card came up for pile one that's why i was just like maybe pile one might be good for y'all and then we also have healer of the ages i just want to get y'all extra card but yeah for door to romance like if this is a romantic person that you're involved with they may feel as though like you wasn't gonna <laughs> find any other options than them or you was not gonna be able to let them go um and whatnot they kind of underestimate your ability to move on and then also with the healer of the ages i just feel like they may also be underestimating um your ability to you know to grow and to develop yourself um, it could be that you all are undergoing some type of healing, especially if you came out of relationship if, or if you're still in a relationship with this person. It could be that um, they are underestimating your ability to, you know, maybe heal yourself and to actually love yourself. Because I see the six, six there being able to love yourself and, and, and give yourself what it is that you need. And, and doing that is essentially is healing. You know what I'm saying? That's a very healing thing to do. So I just feel like they i don't know they coming for y'all for real for real they coming for y'all for real so what you gonna do you gonna stay dependent or are you going to go develop yourself into being even more of a self-sufficient type of person they just don't see it they don't see it you know what i'm saying they don't see it but i'm the type of person i'll tell y'all i don't operate off of today's circumstances i really don't especially when it comes to what people see and what they don't see so that's what i would tell y'all don't operate off of today's circumstances. Then we also have, oh yeah, I wanted to see what y'all super power was. Um, you know, because <laughs> oftentimes it's like people underestimate people, but it's like, no, you really got some, you know, strong characteristics in your arsenal. Okay. And y'all are diligent. So that's something that they don't see why they underestimating you. They don't see your ability to see the bigger picture. Now, you could be someone who has a macro perspective. And of course, you're doing macro things like you're stepping out because the fool is a major card. Like this is like you're stepping out on a new journey, on a new path. You know what I'm trying to say? And you may not know, you may be inexperienced, but you are committed and determined to self-mastery. You're committed and determined to mastering whatever it is that you are learning. Like that's what you're committed to. So I really do think that these people don't see your ability to see the bigger picture. While they might be wrapped up in what you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis, you are wrapped up in, you know, looking at things from a bigger perspective. It's not just about today um let's get one more and then we gonna move on to the tea leaves and then we also have openness i feel like you have been open with this person I, or this person or these people i feel like you are someone who's very vulnerable i feel like you are and because you do that it might shine a light on maybe other people's insecurities or other things that they're disillusioned about or confused about you know what i'm trying to say other things that may not make sense um, or you could just also be a mirror to this person. You know what I'm trying to say? So it could be a case of like this person underestimating you because you show them all the things that they potentially don't like about themselves or you show them all the things that they can't do. You know what I'm trying to say? It's like you kind of shine a light on all of their projections. You know, it's like you're shining a light on them. They're projecting onto you. But within you being open and vulnerable, it's like, they have no other option but to put it all out there too, but they can't. So the way that it comes out for them is through the undermining, you know, is through the underestimating. You feel me? And I'm going to go ahead and move on to the tea leaves. We're going to keep it moving, y'all. <laughs> I'm going to move on to the tea leaves and see what the tea leaves have to say. Why else do they feel like underestimating you today? Why else, why else do they do this? Um, sorry, y'all. I had two cards that fell out, but I, I'm going to just take them. I'm going to just take them. I'm going to just take them. We have yoke, feeling tied down or frustrated. I feel like this is the energy that forced you to walk away. You know what I'm saying? So I do see that there was some type of codependency or dependency. Um whenever I see the devil card and that talks a lot about codependency and like just being attached to unhealthy things, people and situations, I see that chain 
and the chain reminds me of a yoke. It's like being chained and attached to something. And especially with the door to romance and with the eight of cups, it's like you having the ability to release things because the eight of cups is a lot about sacrifice. You know, it's another card in addition to the hangman that talks to me about sacrifice because you have to leave something, whatever you perceive to be a lot to go after that one extra thing that actually makes the whole puzzle make sense. You know what I'm trying to say? So you have to be willing to sacrifice that one thing to create room for something greater. And I definitely think that this person underestimated your ability to do that. I feel like this could have been a very codependent type of relationship. We have moon changes in your life. This relates to openness. I feel like one step for you to be able to make changes in your life meant that you had to be open and aware about what changes had to take place to even be in this, you know, walking away, moving on type of energy. So, yeah, this person, they just underestimate your ability to make changes for yourself, like to lead. Um, let me get some more cards from here. I need to shuffle this well. So we have bell announcement. So obviously something is to be announced. Um, <laughs> I feel like this person might have been a little, uh, this person might have been a little, you know, um, they might have been the last to know <laughs> that you was making these changes. So they might be feeling some type of way. They were the last to know, but we have crib, birth or conception of a child or enterprise. So some of y'all could be having a child, but I feel like for most of y'all, it's just your, it's just you moving into some type of independent type of energy, especially with this nine of pentacles here. Um, well, self-sufficient rather. I feel like um, this could definitely be something that you are moving on to what you are going to master. Um, so if this was a relationship, it's like you're putting yourself over this, you know, you're putting yourself and what you want over this, uh, crippling, oppressed type of situation, energy, relationship, or whatever it was that you were with, with this person, or even if it's not you, if, if it's not one specific person that's on your mind, even a group of people, it's like you're not you're not like them you're stepping out you're not you're stepping out and whatnot so yeah they're just underestimating you um they're the last to know <laughs> they they get all announcements with everybody else okay <laughs> they're the last to know we have a goal-oriented person yeah they see that you you know they see that you, and if you haven't yet accomplished a lot of the, you know, the great goals and desires that's within your heart, it's like, I would just embody that Sagittarius, like focused, precise type of energy so that you can make sure that you're going after what it is that exactly that you want, you know, because you're stepping out, you have options. Now you have options, you have opportunity that's better than not having anything at all. So, you know what I'm saying? So choose wisely and just keep going and give yourself a chance to see success give yourself a chance like and i feel like that's how y'all feel and this is why this person is really underestimating you and they mad you're, you you're giving yourself a chance you know so let's get let's get something else um temporary problems so you might be experiencing some type of temporary setbacks you know that might be a little bit in the way of you know what it is that you want to do but i only feel like the major setback that you've experienced was you being codependent and tied to this person or being dependent on a job or being dependent on a circumstance or being dependent on a situation like you gotta go out and be self-sufficient now now we also have firecracker excitement so there could actually be a lot brewing underneath the surface for you you know what i'm saying uh, y'all i got the window open and I don't know what is going on. They doing, I don't know what's going on outside. <laughs> it's, it's typically quiet in my neighborhood. So I don't know what that is. But for the most part, there is definitely a lot of excitement. There's a lot brewing underneath the surface for you. Um, and I mean, I can tell you I'm excited. But it could just be that this person, like I said, they're the last to know. Um, but I feel like they really know who you are. But they just not trying to give you your credit because... You may be experiencing some type of temporary setbacks. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. I don't know what's up with people, honestly. <laughs> I don't you know what's up with people. We also have, last but not least, Torch. A spiritual development, enlightenment, 
awareness and understanding. So it's just a lot of positive things that is like really going on with y'all at this point, despite any type of temporary setbacks or anything like that. But I really do feel like a lot of y'all are coming to a certain type of um, awareness. And that was the word that came up, especially with the moon card here. And then with the eight of cups, having the awareness to walk away, you know, but I even think more so I hope this reading was able to give you a lot much more awareness and understanding about despite the fact that someone else might be trying to undermine you. It's like you actually do have an option and your option is to become completely depend um, to come to become completely. Um, uh, I don't want, I don't know if it's disassociate. I don't know if that's the word I'm trying to say or detached that's the word to become completely detached and to go become self-sufficient on your own because this person is underestimating and undermining your ability to do so um so i'm gonna just take the moonology deck and um we gonna see <laughs> we gonna see what advice and guidance that y'all have like and then we got to go ahead and close up this reading. But I definitely hope that y'all enjoyed it. I hope it was able to give y'all some, you know, some messages that you can apply to your, to your situation. So, we have step out of your comfort zone. Yes, I feel like if you've been dependent or you've always kind of been relying on other people, I think this is going to be a major thing for you is being able to embody a type of strength and courage to really just step out in order to even get into a nine of pentacles, self-sufficient type of energy. Like you've been able to attain all of these things through your sheer will, power, success, like it does take you having to step out of your comfort zone and to do something different, which I feel like y'all are y'all are doing. So just continue to keep doing that and take risks. That's what came to mind. Take risks. So let me get y'all another card. Surrender to the divine. I love that card. Just continue to surrender to um because y'all had that in y'all had that here too with the uh the crown chakra. Continue to surrender to the divine. Like whatever instructions and guidance that you're being given, just follow those instructions. Please follow those instructions because it really makes life a lot much more easier. When you go against something that you know you have to do or you know that you was told to do, it's like things really can stagnate at a certain point in time so just keep surrendering to the instructions that you are being given make the right choices that's something that came to my mind <laughs> make the right choices despite what anybody else thinks um and then let me get one more card from here and i'll give y'all surrender a card from the surrender deck since i did that for pile one Your hard work is paying off. So good for you, y'all. Good for you. I love it. Just keep going. It seems like a lot of y'all have started something new. You are identifying with something that gives you happiness, that gives you joy. You're creating new experience. You're involving yourself in new experiences, creating new fun memories. You have many options and opportunities. Like, you know what I'm saying? So just keep doing you. Keep working. Um, make sure you have a plan and just stick to that plan. And like I said, just do what the divine is telling you to do. Because it's just, I mean, you're going to do whatever you want to do. But just from my own past, previous experience, I understand that, like I said, things go by a lot much more swiftly. Okay? And you won't really have to experience too many random tower moments that just end things. And then you have to start over when you could have just did what you was told to do from the beginning. So, I'm just saying, like... I'm just saying, it just it's, it's a lot easier that way. <laughs> it's a lot easier that way. Um, so as far as the surrender card, y'all have surrender your ego, cultivate gratitude, be of service to others, and come from your heart. A big ego can work against you, but humility will further your goals. 
I just feel like this just comes more so down to you're starting something new. So there really isn't no place for your ego when you're starting out on something new. It's like as you begin to build mastery and stuff like that, then maybe you could be a little egotistical, a little cocky about yourself. But because you're starting something new, I just feel like just walk forward and be as humble as possible. And it seems like y'all are very humble people because you do have the ability to, you know, I'm trying to say to maintain some type of openness, to be aware, you know, what I'm trying to say. So y'all, y'all do have some type of humility that's there. But um, yeah, just, just understand like where you're going, especially developing yourself into the nine of pentacles is no, is really no space for your ego at this point in time within you starting something new. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to just let that be that. I definitely hope that y'all enjoyed this reading. I hope that you were able to get messages that could help you move forward. And yeah, they want to underestimate you. At least you know why. But at least you also know what your assignment is too. You know, it's to be completely self-sufficient and not codependent or dependent. So with that being said, I'm going to let this go. Um, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. And I will see y'all in the next one. Hey fam. If you chose pile three, which is the Modern Witch Tarot deck and the Pyrite Crystal, I'm going to go ahead and get started with your reading. We're asking, why are they underestimating you? <laughs> why are they undermining you? Um, so yeah, apply this reading how you need to. I'm going to try to keep it as open as possible. But with that being said, definitely make sure you check out all of the information in the description box. If you would like to get a more specialized, personalized, private reading from me, then that information is, is listed there. Um, the link to my scheduler. If you would like to donate any tarot decks, oracle decks, candles, because I love a good desk candle, you can do that as well. My PO box address is there. If you would like to... Um, check out my new line of 3D and hand-painted press-on uh, nails, then you can definitely check that out as well. Just click my uh, link to my Etsy store. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Why are they undermining you? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great today. And I hope y'all are too. I'm ready to read. So let's go. Why are they undermining you? It seems like y'all are had just y'all have just experienced just a lot. Like I can't say a lot of negativity. Um, but y'all know I be trying to jump and start reading, but I'ma just let me get some more cards. Let me get some more cards. Care too much, wanna share too much, my head too much. Sorry y'all. This Kendrick Lamar song is stuck in my head. Count me out. Count me out. It's stuck in my head. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this person, they really underestimate you. They are really underestimating you. They've done that for the other piles. But I feel like this one has to do with your, um, with your healing, with your glow up. This person, they kind of looking at you for who you are today. And this is something that I came, that I uh, just had thought of. And I think it was pile when I said this, but it's like, I'm the type of person, I'm not going to just stay focused on who I am today. I'm going to think about who I'm going to be tomorrow. That's the type of person that you are. But this person is basing you and judging you off of who you are today. Um, that's why they underestimated you. And I don't really think that you've really actualized who you really truly are yet. You know what I'm trying to say? So you might be that person that's just like, yo, I just really want to show the world who I am. I really want to show the world my potential. I really want to show the world that I'm a star. And I'm not just even just reading this, but I'm saying like, because y'all do have the star card, but it's like, you're the type of person that's like, you really want to show the world and you really want to show others who you truly are. Like, I just thought about when Megan was like, B, I'm a star. Like, I'm a star. Like, you really are a star. Like, but I'm gonna take it back from the beginning. Now, this person is underestimating you because they've seen you experience periods of being stuck and stagnant. They've seen you experience periods of you being disappointed. So there could have been a situation. Um, this could have been a love relationship or this could just be, for some reason, I feel like it's your journey. Like you've experienced so much of your, for, like of your former life just disappointed and not really 
going after or striving after what it is that you want. You know what I'm saying? Y'all have experienced a lot of, you know, self-limiting beliefs, things that that things that you've believed about yourself that may not have necessarily been true and that has kept you in a certain place. A lot of y'all can really just chalk it up to your programming. You might have been programmed to stay stuck and to stay stagnant. Um but there's definitely been a lot of disappointment. You've had an inability to really be positive and to be optimistic. Um, now, it's, it's not it's not staying like this for you. You know what I'm saying? It's not staying like this for you. So I do got to, you know, I got to get into the, the good the good news is coming. The bad, we focusing on the bad news. Some people be like, let's take the bad news first. <laughs> they be like, what you want? The good news or the bad news? Um, for y'all, for y'all, it's really... Uh, it's the, <laughs> we got, we got to focus on the bad news first. Okay. That's what came up first. So with that being said, it's just like y'all have experienced some type of loss or disappointment or just a different type of mindset that might've kept you um, thinking negatively where you haven't really been seeing the silver lining when it comes to things, or you've really been keeping yourself in a small place. So it could be that this person is underestimating you because they, they haven't, they can't believe that the tides have changed or the tides have turned with you. They can't believe that somebody like you that has started out in such a, you know, for some reason I keep wanting to say destitute, but I don't see the five of pentacles, but it's like for someone like you that has started off in such a, 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 a negative, small place for you to have the ability for you to have the ability to to heal yourself, you know what I'm saying? For you to have the ability to 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 leave this energy and to go into something completely different. So this person is underestimating your 180 degree change. They can't accept the fact that you've changed. They can't accept the fact that you have taken yourself from a place that does not know, serve you and for you to push yourself into some other place that is gonna that takes you closer to the potential of you being who you who you really truly see yourself as being and who you want other people to see you as they don't believe it they don't believe it they can't believe how you would take yourself from feeling so small to now being uh exalted to now for to now you being noticed to now you being you know what i'm trying to say like and it's not even and it's it's with your mindset is with your mindset. So a lot of y'all had to go through a healing process and bringing this into balance. I feel like y'all understand that it, like keeping yourself in a certain place, keeping yourself so small, it's just reminding me of like, <laughs> the analogy that I thought of was like, nobody puts baby in a corner, but it's like, you put yourself in a corner. You was baby, you put yourself in the corner. But I feel like there was a change and something that happened with you to where it forced you to have to bring that into balance and for you to, under, to to heal, to heal. So I feel like it really, you really had to embody a lot of patience with yourself and you've had to like build yourself back up. It's like someone losing something in life and then having to rebuild. So you could have had it all in the beginning. You could have had it all, okay? You could have, but now it's on you having to rebuild your life. And I feel like that's what they are underestimating your ability to really have rebuilt your life. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying that you did this by yourself because if you're a spiritual person, then you had help. It's not saying that you did this by yourself, but you did. You you had to take the steps to free yourself and to be able to heal yourself and for, for you to be able to, to move into a different type of energy. And this is really who you are. It's like, you really got tired. Like you got tired of keeping yourself so small. You got tired. Like some of y'all was just recluse. Like you just stepped away from society. You know what I'm saying? With this hermit deck, it's like you just stepped away and, and focused on something else. But the other thing too about this hermit deck, I feel like is like the hermit card, I'm sorry, is I feel like when you stepped away, it caused you to have to learn some things about yourself. It caused you to have to, um, cause I'm like, well, how did this happen? It was really through you separating yourself from other people, maybe not dealing with people that don't serve you anymore. But it's like, when you stepped away, like, look at this hermit, 
the hermit card, they're wearing a necklace, the star necklace. So it's like you always knew who you wanted to be and you always wanted to show that to the world. But I feel like you really had to step back. You had to do some healing, some research. You had to learn things about yourself. You had to become aware. You, you know what I'm trying to say? And I feel like it's within this awareness you were able to heal. You were able to heal. This person is underestimating you because they just like, well, this person was never like that. You know, they, they talking about you. They're like, well, they was never really like that. They always stayed small and kept themselves small. So they kind of just underestimating you. But you really did a whole 180 degree change. And it took time. It took time to build yourself back up. But I feel like within you building yourself back up with the infinity symbol, it's like you, you're not going back over the strength card. It's like you're not going back. You're not going back to who you used to be. I feel like who you are now, I feel like who you are now, like you would be this long term. And I feel like you've actually, you, you've actually developed self-actualization. -actu like you understand your power. You understand who you truly are. You understand that you're a star. You understand that it's better to be positive, that it's better to be optimistic, that it's better to be, you know, to have faith. That it's better to have positive expectancy. That it's better to have hope. You've really had a complete 180 degree change when it's come to your mindset. You don't defeat yourself anymore. You're not a self-defeatist. You're someone who is trying to actually put themselves out there. I feel like you're someone who wants to be noticed. You want people to see you for who you truly are. For people to, you know what I'm saying, to, to, to love you for who you are. And I really do feel like... Um, you being who you are and being noticed for being who you are really helps you to continue to heal as well. It helps you to not go back to who you used to be. I feel like this person is underestimating you because they've never seen you like this. You know what I'm saying? They've never seen you have the ability to think positively and to not, you know, suppress your own self. And I feel like that's why this person underestimates you. Maybe they don't believe it. Maybe they think it's a lie because it's such a dramatic change you know so who knows we gonna um get into the sacred destiny is it sacred destiny no this is the energy oracle we're gonna get into the energy oracle and then we will see what's up just checking my time y'all envy so this person definitely could envy the fact that you've made choices that have taking you to a completely new place. Um, we have storm warning. We have storm warning. We have the world. We have the world card again. So it's just self, the, the idea of self-actualization is coming up again. And that's like you being able to like come to a full understanding and awareness of the power that is within you. And now you can operate from within that power. But as far as with storm warning, I definitely want to get some clarification on that. Um, oh, hostilities. Yeah. So this person, um, yeah, they're definitely jealous of the changes that you have made. Um, and I feel like this person is always coming for you, like, it, regardless of if they telling you or not, um, regardless of if they telling you or not, but I feel like this person is always kind of working against you. And I feel like, um, there, there might be some anxiety that you experience with this person because you know that there's always something, there's always something like they could always be saying something, doing something with the eight. It just makes me feel like they're always working on something or working to try to knock you off and feel unbalanced. Um, they don't believe that you could have made this change. This person, yeah, they definitely, they, they hating, they hating, they hating. That's what they doing. They hating, but they're not stopping a show. They're not stopping your show. That's why I just, that's what spirit just told me to say. They not stopping your show. So I just feel like there's always some type of hostility and envy that this person has towards you and you being able to change your life. Or I don't even think you really just changed your entire life. I just feel like with you, it started as small as with your mindset. It started as small as you not being negative and limiting anymore to you being positive and limitless. So that's kind of how I feel like it was with y'all. It just kind of started with your mindset, you know, and now that 
you change your mindset, it seems as though like this is now living through you. People, other people are starting to see this about you. And this is what you wanted. You wanted people to see you for who you truly were. And I don't think you was truly a negative and limiting type of person. I just think you went through a lot within your past that that pushed you into being that way. You know what I'm saying? But I don't think that that this is how you actually truly are limit, limited. But yeah, it's just seeming like this person, I feel like they could also be watching you on social media um, because it's a lot of the world here. So it's kind of like in front of other people, you know what I'm saying? In front of other people in the world, <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say? Um, mm. But yeah, I just think that there's a lot of uh, movement here because the world could symbolize travel. And then the chariot card also is it's a forward movement. It's some type of progression. And I just feel like... Um, that you've made a you made that like I said that 180 change you've taken the steps that you needed to but it took you having to separate yourself and to uh to learn what you needed to learn about yourself and then to get back in the game so I really do think that you was like you had help and support from the universe but I also think that like you um you really took the steps to to heal yourself you identified that there was a problem and you took the steps that you needed to do. And now you're just slowly rebuilding yourself and gaining strength to be who you who you who you truly are, to show that off to the world. So as far as your superpower, your superpower, what you actually really possess within you, we have freedom. We have freedom. Like, and that's evident within you being able to free yourself from a limiting mindset. Um, and then I want to get another one for you. And then we also have that that card jumped we also have gateway so yeah you definitely um transformed yourself you definitely did it's just kind of giving me you know butterfly vibes but at the end of the day you have wings okay and then also here through your healing, you were able to develop wings um, and whatnot. So I just like the fact that you really transformed your life and it started with something as small as your mindset. And I just think that that is a superpower for you. Like, <laughs> so just keep going with that because y'all definitely have the ability to move. You know, there's movement that's evident here. Um, yeah, so slowly but surely getting ahead. Yeah, this person can definitely peep that about you. That's why they, 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 they see it. You slowly but surely moving ahead. I saw that too. Um, like you're slowly regaining your strength and you know what I'm trying to say? Rebuilding your life. Um, that we have club. Someone will try to make you do something against your will. So I definitely do think um, this person. Sorry, I had mad cards that came out. I definitely do think that um, this person is just like it's always something with them and i feel like they always going to be trying to provoke you or just to try to make it seem like it's fake or you didn't really transform or whatever and whatnot but just understand they acting out through their hostilities but they can definitely see that you are changing they can definitely see that sorry y'all these cards we have um the sun card wanted to come out happiness and well-being so they can see that as well um the broken bridge i also saw the broken bridge card out here for well unsuccessful outcome to a problem so it could be that this person um that you are have separated yourself from this person and yet they're still really hot hostile um and I really do think that it's more so unsuccessful for them. Maybe they wanted to continue to keep uh, trying to. I feel like this is one of those people who just kind of want to, who feel like when you're off balance, it puts them in a sense of um, empowerment just to know that they're doing better than you. But I feel like <laughs> because you are regaining your strength and really developing yourself into who you want others to see you as, it's like they can no longer continue to keep running with that narrative. We also have bell announcement. So you should be announcing something very, um, announcing something um, to come that is very exciting. And then we also have an exciting event, gong. So it's just like this person is just kind of waiting in the wings. They know that something is about to jump off, but they don't really know what it is within your life. Um, 
someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something you want i just think it's this person like they're trying to just throw a wedge with the storm storm warning i just always feel like their envy is forcing them to you know always want to throw something at you to try to knock you off of your you know your path or what you've been doing or the 180 change that you've been making so whoever this person is i would definitely say keep them at a distance because they definitely want to get in between you and just the great things to come and then we have barrel you feel something is lacking in your life perhaps love money or goals well this is definitely related to you know maybe this is the what you came to the awareness about when you separated yourself and you know changed your mindset um i think this was a um you know a moving force in you changing your life and doing that 180 and whatnot so and then we also have one more well i got two more time to act with the lion um i think that's something that you realize within yourself that it was time for you to rebuild your life and to do something different and then we have finger warning you of a problem either now or in the near future i feel like this is just something that this person has done i feel like you no longer play into helping them feel empowered so <laughs> it's just kind of like that finger that's pointing at you and they always say that like if you point the finger at somebody else there's like what 10 fingers pointing at you or uh, something like that so i just feel like um yeah uh, just understand that with this person, it's always going to be something, especially with storm warning. There's always going to be a problem. So I feel like you should probably just separate yourself from this person. Now, let's give y'all some advice and guidance to continue to keep moving forward. We have the energy is gaining momentum. So yeah, slow and steady does win the race. But I feel like that you are um, gaining momentum and, you know, the person that you want to be in that 180 change that you have already initiated is going to pay off just give it a give it a chance as you slowly rebuild and then we also have a new romantic cycle begins so this is a love connection that you are with um with someone just understand that something new is a new person is going to be presented to you um and i do think that as you continue to heal and develop into the person that you want to be that you would have even many more options and I try to keep this as open as possible <laughs> instead of it just being about love. Um, and then we have a new start is coming. So that's amazing. A new start is coming. So, you know, you won't have to deal with all of the negativity and disappointment that you experienced in the past because it's, it's something new. And I feel like you initiated this change. So let's get you a surrender card, something that you can surrender to just keep, <laughs> yo. <laughs> This card just wanted to come out for y'all. Surrender to passion. I saw it when I started shuffling and then it flipped over. So I'll take it. Surrender to passion. Get out of your head and feel the fire in your belly. Focus on the people or activities that ignite your passion and let it flow. So yeah, whoever this person is that's undermining you, underestimating you, just don't focus on them anymore. Focus on what it is that you actually want to do within your life because that is is what is gonna allow people to really get to you know see who you are like it's gonna help you to continue you know the path of self actualization and for you to really learn who you truly are and i feel like that's really what life is it's about getting rid of all the other stuff that does not apply to you so that you can be left with what is you know what i'm saying um so yeah i'm gonna just leave it there uh, make sure that you like comment and subscribe i hope that you enjoyed this reading and that there were messages here that actually applied and resonated to you that you can actually use as you continue to move forward but like i always tell y'all it's your free will you could take the information or not it's really up to you i can't force you to do anything that you don't want to do and that's what it is so definitely make sure you like comment subscribe and i will see you all in the next one